You might have seen this meme on social media which claims that the long side of this triangle has a length of zero, while the other sides are not zero. But this is totally wrong, and I'll show you why. Everywhere it appears it causes a lot of arguments in the comments. The reason people think that the long side is really zero is because they use Pythagoras' theorem to find x, and in the process they square the number i to get minus 1, since this is the definition of i, but this is the wrong method. What is usually forgotten here is that complex numbers like i and real numbers like 1 are vectors. They represent a displacement from the origin point 0, and this is how all complex numbers are defined. A vector has both a direction and a size. You're probably familiar with negative numbers. If we start at the origin, 0, 2 is in the opposite direction to minus 2, but they both have the same size of 2. Imaginary numbers are represented on their own number line, which only crosses the real number line at 0. This number line is at a right angle to the real number line. We also say it is perpendicular. You can see here that although 2i is on a different number line, it is at a distance of 2 from the origin. It is just that it is in the positive i direction. That means that 2 and 2i both have the same length of 2. If we return to the original equation, we can see that we need to take the size or magnitude of the vectors i and 1 in order to solve for the size of x. The size of 1 and the size of i are both 1, since they are both one unit long, and they're both one unit from the origin. We can now apply Pythagoras' theorem, and easily arrive at the correct answer, which is the square root of 2. If you are still watching at this point, thank you for watching. And if you're struggling with maths, you can contact me for online maths tutoring using the details in the description.